talk about this a little more now. My guest is CEO of Debt Rescue, Neil Roots. Neil, good evening and thanks so much for your time now. Uh, driving here, I heard the news. I got a little bit excited, but I'm just hearing in the last couple of minutes I shouldn't actually be so excited about this, uh, considering that it's really not going to make much of a dent. Is it true? Uh, yes, unfortunately, that's a reality. Um, it's good news. It's always good news if we have an interest rate high, uh, uh, cut, but uh, um, we don't think it's going to make a huge difference. Uh, it's not enough considering um, how consumers are currently struggling and the way they've been struggling the past couple of years. This is definitely not enough. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've seen a lot of price increases in the form of petrol prices going up mm. last year, electricity prices going up. And the reality is all these price increases filter through to the prices of other goods and services. And uh, salaries just doesn't go up in line with all those price increases. So the reality is it's, it's not becoming easier. So this interest rate cut, uh, it's, it's good but uh, we feel it's not going to make too much of a difference. So, I mean, the aim is to get people spending a little bit more. Um, your, your debt rescue, I mean, already I, I would imagine people are highly indebted, South Africans at the moment. I mean, what are the chances that this is even going to just kickstart them a little bit at, at all? Yeah, sure. Um, the idea is to get people to spend money and to stimulate the economy. That's, that's, that's good. But, uh, you know, people are so over-indebted. If you look at the stats provided by the National Credit Regulator, almost half of all credit active consumers are over-indebted, meaning that they are in arrears with at least three payments on one of their accounts. So those people are not going to see enough difference in their financial life to start spending money. So I don't think it's going to make any difference in, in uh, people stimulating the economy. Mm. Uh, the reality is we need to see much more than that. We need to see petrol prices going down, uh, the electricity prices going down, these kind of things. That would make a difference. And the Reserve Bank Governor is saying that electricity supply is still going to be a bugbear for us. It is still going to weigh us down. So until they sort that out, it's all linked. I don't see how we're going to see the rewards of something like this. Definitely. And, and, and that also goes further to the point that um, when we do see interest rate cuts like this, uh, people should use that little bit more money that they're going to have available um, and, and, and put it away for the difficult times that's coming. You know, it's definitely not wise for people to now start spending money. So the idea of getting people to spend money is not going to end up in a reality. So a little bit of good news, a little bit for, for, for those who have bond repayments, car repayments, that kind of thing. But what about companies, producers, manufacturers? I mean, what does it mean for, this period, for them for this period starting off the year in this way? Would it, what would be the impact of that? No, there can be an impact, obviously, because, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of uh, uh, deals between people are linked to the interest rates um, and, and, and uh, therefore they would save some money in, in some form. But once again, it's, it's, it's so minute, it's not going to make a big difference. So we're not going to see that that's going to make a huge difference. If we had to see um, electricity prices going down significantly, that would have made a big difference in businesses. Um, but, but unfortunately, the interest rates is not going to save people that. Yes, surely people and especially uh, uh, the public, they, they, they're going to see some savings uh, in the form of, of bond repayments and car repayments. Uh, but what we see on a daily basis at Dead Rescue yeah. is that people are so over-indebted that that little bit of saving is not going to get them out of it's debt. It's going to get swallowed yeah. up by their debt anyway. Exactly. Now, with GDP being what it is, Neil, I mean, you know, can we afford such measures like this? Can, can the country afford to have this, this cut? Could it work in a negative way for us? Yeah, I don't believe it, 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 it's, it's going to be negative for us, but, but the reality is I don't, just don't think it's going to make any difference. It's not going to make much of a difference. Um, so it's not going to go either way. It's not going to bring us um, relief, um, but it's also not going to be negative. Uh, we need, need much more than that to help the over-indebtedness of, of consumers because, remember, we, we, we get price increases all the time. If we get a little bit of a... Uh, relief like this, it's not going to make a difference because it gets balanced out by all the price increases. What would you like to see? A couple more cuts? Definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, some more cuts and also perhaps cuts in electricity, electricity. price and, and petrol. Okay, well, I think we can hold our breath for that one, or not hold our breath for electricity. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Thank you very much, Jet Rescue CEO Neil Roots.